Alright guys, today I've got a video here on my Motorola Droid Bionic and this is going to be how to SBF or FXZ restore your phone with Fastboot and a program called RSD Lite. Um, so this is going to do two things for you. One, um, it's going to restore your operating system to stock Jelly Bean um, official OTA or two, you can actually use this to update yourself to stock Jelly Bean official OTA. If you update, well, update or restore, either way, you're going to wipe your phone completely and you'll be running only stock applications. You'll wipe all your data off, everything. It won't wipe your SD card or your internal SD card, I don't think, but I know it won't wipe the external for sure. It might wipe your internal, not really sure on that one. Um, but it'll put you back to stock. So this right now is what I've got running on here. Got a couple applications, Angry Birds. Let's go ahead and go into our settings just to show you guys that we are on right here Android version 4.1.2 um, and it is system version 98.72.22.xt875 Verizon ENUS. So that is what I'm running right here. Like I said, if you are on Ice Cream Sandwich and you want to update to Jelly Bean, this will work for you and will update you to Jelly Bean. So let's go ahead and go to my computer and show you guys what you need to do this. So first thing you guys are going to want to do is get your Motorola drivers which are these two files. Uh, don't worry, all files will be linked in the video description down below. Um, so this is the Motorola drivers for a 32-bit Windows operating system or a 64-bit Windows operating system. You can guys can see what you need based on your computer um, by going to your computer and about, about computer it should be in there. So you, you, you can find that out and so you can figure out which version you need. I think if you install the wrong one it'll tell you it's the wrong one and you need the other one. Not really a big deal. Um, so these are the two files and then the last thing you're going to need is this program right here which is called RSD Lite. Now this right here that I'm showing you is 5.6 but you're actually going to want to run this version which is version 6.1.4 or newer is what you're going to look, be looking for. So this is the program. First thing you're going to want to do is fine. Well, let me show you guys the SBF file. This is the FBS, uh, FBS file or FXZ file right here, Jelly Bean. And this is what it looks like. It is an XML.XML file. Again, so I'll be in the video description to download. So, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go hit the three dots right here. We're going to search for that file. So, mine's under my stuff, Bionic, and FX. FX file, yours might be under downloads or something like that, but you got to know where it's at and find it. So I'm going to click on it. Best thing to do is save it to the desktop. Then you're going to click on the file you want and then say decompress only. So while this is decompressing, let's go ahead and show you guys how to hook up the phone. Alright, very important. Install the Motorola drivers. To do this, watch my Motorola driver install video linked in the video description. Uh, make sure you follow all the steps in it to make sure these drivers are installed correctly. So at this point we need to get into AP Fastboot. To do that, we're just going to power off the device. Alright, so if you're having a problem with your, your device, something's not working, it won't power up, pull the battery and get it to the powered off state, put the battery back in, and then I'll show you what you do. You're going to hold down your volume up and down buttons at the same time. Let's see if I can do this, hold them both, and then hold your power button and this gets you into bootloader mode so now you're going to scroll down to AP Fastboot and then scroll up scroll up is the select feature key key feature here make sure your battery is a hundred percent charged before you start flashing your phone if this fails because your battery is too low in the middle you're going to end up with a bricked phone not a good thing you're going to need a factory cable to get you out of that situation so from here we're going to go ahead and hook up our USB cable, which um, should be plugged in. Most of the time, I prefer plugging it into 
uh, a back cable on my uh, back USB port on my computer. So that just connected, and actually, it's installing drivers on my computer. Let me see if I can bring this up and show it to you guys. Right here. Obviously, I haven't installed the drivers for it in fast boot mode yet. I've installed it in the other modes, like my video will show. Let me get this zoomed in for you. Sorry. So there it goes. It shows me my ADB interface is ready to go. So I'm going to hit OK. Now, we're here on the program. You can see that that file I uh, decompressed pop populates right here. It's listed up here in the top, file name. Populates right here and says Targa. Targa is the code name for the Bionic. So just so you guys know that. Um, and then it has this stuff listed right here, which I like to expand a little bit. So that you can see it says connected, USB port, and then it says under model. It tells you fast boot, CDMA, Targa, and a bunch more if you keep expanding it. So if you click on this, it also populates this information, which all says NA, but that's not a big deal. Um, so from here, we're in our fast boot mode right here. And we've got everything there. It's all ready. So then all we have to do is hit start. And it's got 24 things it's going to do here. Um, it's on two, it's on three. All right, so we're flashing pre-installed. It's gone through about 19 steps so far. We're going to come back to when it finishes up. We're flashing here web top vendor. Um, this whole entire flash process right now is probably going to run you anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Just be real patient on it. Uh, it went through system and a bunch of other things, um, and it's wrapping up. It did wipe user data. Ooh, look at that. It did wipe user data. Um, on the phone so your apps will all be restored back to factory stock um, but it looks like it I don't think it wiped the internal SD card I know it doesn't wipe the external SD card so let's just let this thing finish up um, everything should reboot fine on the phone and we'll go from there it's performing the last step which was flashing radios and now it is rebooting the device you can see it's rebooting right here it's going to reboot, um, and I think it's going to flash the radios in stock recovery. So let's see if that happens. Um, on the back there it says we still are in, prog in progress. So just be patient on it. So here we're rebooted into Android recovery to flash. Right there you're flashing your radios. That's what that is all about right there. So just be patient. It should boot out of stock recovery and finish booting up. Looks like the radios are just about done. It does take a little bit on this screen. Like I said, the whole process of flashing this thing is a good 15 minutes at least. Um, just kind of nerve wracking. You're thinking, oh, first time I've ever done this, I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. But if yours is going like this, you should be good to go. Make sure you don't unplug this USB cable. All right, we just uh, rebooted here out of Android recovery automatically, and it's going to go through the full reboot. So just be patient on it. Should, everything should work normally here. Uh, I should see this stack uh, Bionic boot animation. And again, first boot up on these devices could take up to 10 minutes technically on this first boot up, so be real patient with it. Uh, if it boot loops on you and just keeps booting back to the Motorola logo and boot animation and not booting the system, you may have to go into stock recovery and do a factory reset in there, wipe cache and data, but should everything should work up fine. So just let it boot. There is the boot animation right there and it actually tried to open up a, dri a window here on the, my computer because it installed the drivers again. So, or like I say, just let this thing boot up. Everything looks like grant fine so far. I'll show it to you when it's booted up, and we'll wrap this up. All right, just want to show you this really quick. First thing you guys are going to get is this right here, preparing device. This is a good sign. Once you get to this point, you know this process is probably good to go. And there you go. And this is your startup stuff. So, that is an excellent thing. I'm going to go ahead and skim right through this, and we'll get back to it. Alright, so the device has fully powered up now. You can see that it is back to stock. 
I'm going to go ahead and unplug. The computer says still in process, but if you let it sit there long enough, it will actually go to um, finished. I'm not going to worry about it right now. You can shut the program down back here behind me if you want. It is done at this point. Everything booted up. Just to show you really quick, um, let me go back to settings here. And we'll show you guys what we're running here, which should be that jelly bean, what I was on before, which it is, Android 4.2. 1.2 so there you go that is it guys that is the restore um, for the droid bionic or update to jelly bean so i hope you guys like it that's it please follow me at root junkie right here above my thumb this is my website got lots of great information on there you can follow me on facebook or twitter and we'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching